So bunny. Yes. A few days ago, I was at work. Okay. Okay. So I'm at I'm at work. I'm in receiving, listening to my strange ass music and opening boxes. The boxes are product. We get a ton of boxes full of product, full of books and toys and badly warped Funko Pops. Yeah. The other day I got a box in with 12 Funko Pops, and I'm so excited because it's the one Funko Pop that just everybody wants. And we got 12. We got 12 of them. Okay. 12 of them. Thank God we finally got Funko Pops for We Teeth Kiyubi. Right? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. The like, don't don't bar you react. the fucking door. <laughs> don't act don't act like you don't know Wee Teeth Kiyubi, okay? That's Warwick Davis's character from Rogue One, which took America by storm. Really? Everyone's still with Rogue One fever, wearing their Rogue One shirts, <laughs> quoting Rogue One. So thank God we got 12 We Teeth Kiyubi Funko Pops, right? Because yes. that's obviously people have been coming in for just months and months. Have you gotten in your We Teeth Kiyubis yet? <laughs> and we're just zapping them with a cattle prod. Get down. Get down. Back. We haven't gotten We Teeth Kiyubis yet. Thank God we finally got. 12 wee teeth kiyubis yeah. maxwell stop climbing on me i am not i am not a jimboree <sighs> and so occasionally and and i and not really not occasionally i mean like once every blue moon rarely yeah. but sometimes this does happen um this box of product was packed and it was packed by someone in a distribution center way out there in jersey or somewhere yeah and Every once in a blue moon, whoever packed the box might accidentally leave something in said box. Okay. It has happened. I, I found a pencil in there once. I found a a, a, a a small piece of paper with some notes scribbled on it that someone accidentally left in the box. Recently, one of the stores out there in the ether found uh, one of the one of the packers one of the distribution center employees actual car keys in a box <laughs> oh god so someone at the distribution center definitely had a bad day jesus can you imagine that where did my keys go and then like seven days later in i don't know denver <laughs> oh look at this look at this i've got keys so the other day i found something in a box okay it was a used candy wrapper. Okay. Uh, uh, right. A, a used candy wrapper and not simply a candy wrapper. No, it was a candy wrapper that, that someone had opened it, the candy wrapper and gotten the candy out. And then the the candy wrapper, the used candy wrapper, oh. ended up in this box. And it, it traveled from New Jersey all the way. Maxwell, no, let's stand on that traveled all the way to my store in nowhere oklahoma yeah. specifically it was a light blue tootsie roll wrapper for their new limited edition vanilla flavored tootsie rolls and i looked at it and i said "Ooh, vanilla tootsie rolls and also limited edition that upsets me that there's like limited edition food limited edition, <laughs> uh toothpaste oh get your limited edition shaving kit like the 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 word limited edition is used too much right now and it's ridiculous but yeah limited edition freaking tootsie roll that's just ridiculous yeah i used to have the same feeling toward the word official yeah 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 like but that this is this, this is a fucking official toothpaste what the fuck but then bonnie but then later that day i get in my ups shipment yeah. So, so I open the back door, the receiving door, and I'm waiting for the no, 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 no. I'm waiting for the truck to to back up to my receiving door, and and a, a bit of trash blows past. There's a it's very windy in Oklahoma, so uh, and there's a lot of dumpsters in the back, so sometimes some trash blows past. And a, a bit of trash blows past as I'm waiting for the UPS truck to back up. Specifically, it was a shopping bag 
Uh-huh. A small bit of cardboard. And I swear to you, it was another vanilla light blue Tootsie Roll wrapper. Huh? Uh-huh. Huh? So what do you think this is telling you? Oh, no, no. I'm not done. Later okay. that day, I swear to you, a number of hours later, because that happened at around 10, 15, 10, 20, a number of hours later, around 4 o'clock, my FedEx delivery arrives, about 12 boxes of magazines, and what do I see inside of the delivery truck? What? I see a light blue, limited edition, vanilla, Tootsie Roll wrapper. Holy shit! Now, God. Now, going forward with this story, there are obviously two ways that I can go. Where with the this. fuck is James Randy now? Huh? No, huh? Hold, on. Hold on. There are two ways that I can take this story. I can just chalk that up to a strange coincidence. Hmm. That is odd, right? Okay, then. And then I could move on. Or I could MAGA this bitch. Okay. <laughs> Meaning. Meaning. I can take this random coincidence. And in our post-fact, post-truth nation, with absolutely, with absolutely no uh, proof to back up my claims, I can get this small story and blow it way out of proportions. So, Bunny. I, yeah. Long story short, I am here to blow the lid off of the Tootsie Roll conspiracy that... <laughs> And George Soros and Stanley Tucci don't want you to know about. Okay? Yeah. All right. Obama, George Soros, Stanley Tucci. Oh, yeah. I mentioned the Tooch. <laughs> Character actor, Stanley Tucci. He is a brainwashed, deep state, Manchurian candidate, rain man driving Miss Daisy secret agent. <laughs> Bankrolled by George Soros. And Jeff Pilsen, of course, uh, Jeff Pilsen, that's the bassist from Foreigner. They are the both. Pilsen Doughboy. Their vast fortunes, Jeff, George Soros and Jeff Pilsen, the bassist from Foreigner, using their vast fortunes to brainwash regular people, hardworking, God fearing patriots like you and I, Bunny, and Don't turning them story, into man. mindless soldiers for Obama's deep state. It is a coup, people. <laughs> and I have it on good authority, okay? Good authority. My sources deep within the Pentagon tell me that Obama and his flunkies, I'm talking about George Soros, yeah. uh, Hillary Clinton, Ruth Buzzy, the Geico Gecko, they are concocting a sinister plan to weaken the American population so that it will be easier to attack. But how? That's what you're asking. How are these cold hearted jack booted liberal thugs going to weaken the general population of the United States? Don't you think it's odd, Bunny, that after all of these years, decades go by, so much time, and then all of a sudden they just bring back Zima? <laughs> Brain dampening, government created mind juice. <laughs> In fact, all of these limited edition retro concoctions are just evil, satanic, liberal, deep state whammy sauce. <laughs> and, and, I'll, and, and I have proof. You might think that I'm just spouting some nonsense, but I have proof. We got our scientists, our Pope on film scientists, and they went ahead and got some Pepsi clear and uh -huh. gave it to a team of laboratory frogs like you do. And guess what happened? Pepsi clear turned the friggin' frogs gay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. All of you loyal uh, Pope on filmites, you loyal uh, poffies out there. If you love America, then you need to make it your patriotic duty to stay away from all of these limited edition candies and drinks and whatevers. Oh, yeah, Nick Rib is back for a limited time. Nick Rib is back for a limited time because Hillary Clinton eats babies and has sex with the surviving members of the band Menudo. That is a fact, people. A fact. So if you see someone 
even someone you love, a family member, even your wife, or God forbid, your pastor. And there is a limited edition Tootsie Roll wrapper near them. It is already too late. Headshot! Headshot! <laughs> that is the only way to stop this evil, liberal conspiracy! Uh-huh. So that's Tootsie Rolls. That's so Tootsie those, Rolls. Those are Tootsie Rolls. You got to watch out for the new limited edition Tootsie Rolls. Is I, what I'm saying. I, 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 I totally hear what you're saying there. Okay, good. Pretty sure everybody within a 50 mile radius can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's okay, because this is important stuff. Yeah. Next, stop rolling on the bed, okay? This is not a jungle gym, okay? Okay. 